In today's video, we're going to find out what is most profitable on the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, this card is technically an LHR card, but we're gonna crunch some numbers today and see what's most profitable. Once we find out what's most profitable on the RTX 3080 Ti, we're going to mine that for one week, and then we're gonna do a follow-up video to go over what this card made and pulled in in one week. So all that said, let's jump into it. So let's go ahead and start with uh, Miner Stats Profitability Calculator. Here, we're just gonna go ahead and search for the RTX 3080 Ti. Now, as you can see here, it looks like uh, Ergo is going to be the most profitable according to Miner Stats uh, calculator. So let's go ahead and click that. Now this calculator shows that Ergo is going to be most profitable with a estimated daily income of five dollars and sixty-two cents. If you have ten cents per kilowatt electricity, then your estimated daily profit is going to be five dollars and eleven cents mining Ergo. Now just going down here, um, you can see Ethereum is number fifteen right here. And it shows it is 58.68 mega hash at 224 watts. Now, right off the bat, um, 58 mega hash for the 3080 Ti sounds a little bit low. So let's just go ahead and do some testing real quick and see really what we can get on ETH hash. And then we can better run these numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and open up T-Rex Miner. In here, we have a couple different options to mine ETH. So for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use, uh, let's just say Flexpool. Now for the batch file for Flexpool, uh, you can right click and edit. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of this the same. And this is just the default. It's not really worth the time to switch over the wallet and the stratum that I'm going to use. So for now, we're just going to keep it like this just so we can get a number. A really handy Google Doc is going to be one that uh, was started by Red Panda Mining. Here I have it linked as one of my favorites, but I will go ahead and put this uh, link below for you guys to use. So if you're searching at the bottom here, you can actually search by the model of the card. So we're going to switch over to the 3080 Ti. Here's the founder's edition, but the numbers should be the same. So we're going to click that and here we go. Now here it looks like on people are getting the same amount on Ethereum, uh, 64. So let's go ahead and mimic these and uh, see where we land. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up MSI Afterburner. You can see it here. So it looks like the highest number here on ETH hash actually had a power limit of 62. So let's go ahead and try that one first. We'll put 62 in here. Minus 200 on the core. Memory we will put at plus 1200. Let's apply those settings and let's go ahead and run the batch file. So here we go on flex pool. We'll run it. Let me bring up MSI here. And let's go ahead and let this run for a little bit. Right off the bat, it looks like we're at 63 mega hash. Let's just give it a couple more minutes. And it looks here from the program that the card's pulling 247 watts. And according to our test bench, um, that is a pretty accurate number of how many watts that this card is pulling. So it looks like we're kind of stuck at around 63 uh, mega hash here. I'm gonna go ahead and just up the power limit to about 70% and let's see what that will do. We'll click apply and we'll go ahead and see if that changes anything. You can probably tell at our test bench right now, our wattage has gone up a little bit. It shows that also in the program. All right, so it kind of looks like we're stuck at 63.5, which compared to Miner Stats calculations, it's a little bit higher than what Miner Stat has. However, they have a wattage that's a little bit lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the batch file for Ethereum. Let's see what the profitability calculator on nice hash looks like now here i'm going to manually enter my hardware i'm going to type in a 3080 and they do have the ti right here so we're going to select that run calculate and this shows five dollars and 92 cents a day before electricity and five dollars and 39 cents a day after electricity if you scroll down you can see which algorithms they use which here it's showing uh it's mostly autolycos which is ergo uh, Dasher Hashimoto, which is Ethereum, and Kapow. Interestingly enough, it shows Dagger Hashimoto at 80 mega hash at 220 watts on the 3080 Ti, and it also shows uh, Kapow at 45 mega hash at 220 watts. So these numbers also seem a tad off. So let's go ahead and see what we can mine with Ergo. So for Ergo, I'm going to go ahead and leave the overclocks the same as this. I'll probably put the core clock back to zero, and let's go ahead and run the batch file for Ergo. I'm just going to go ahead and use Nanopool. We'll double click that, and we'll let this go for a little bit. So while that's going, we'll open up a notepad. Ethereum, we had 
let's say 63 mega hash. We had about 63 mega hash at about 250 watts. Now we're testing Ergo and we'll see where we land with this. Looks like right off the bat we're at 218, which is a little bit low again for this. Maybe I'll try to bump the core a little bit. Now it looks like we're getting around 240, 246 mega hash. I think the batch file needed a little bit more time to ramp up and we also increased the core clock by 100. So it looks like the card's pulling about 280 watts. Um, actually, that's just from the program, but according to the power supply, it looks like that from the wall, this card is pushing closer to 300 watts. So we're gonna go with 300 watts on this. So we'll do 240 mega hash at 300 watts. Now let's go ahead and try Ravencoin. So I'm gonna pull this up again. Here it shows uh, for Kapow, which is Ravencoin, it should hash around 45 at 220 watts. I feel like these wattages are very off on nice hash. So we're gonna go ahead and just go with the numbers that we're getting here. So let's go ahead and pull up the Red Panda Mining hash rate page. And here you can see a 241 on Ergo is uh, right about where we are now, but they're getting about 257 watts at a 60% power limit with a lower core using NB Miner. However, we're just trying to get a rough estimate. I don't know if these slight tweaks will really make a difference in the end. If it's that close, then we'll go ahead and do it. Now there's another page it looks like for Ravencoin, which is the 30 series Raven Compare. Let's go over there. And in here we're seeing a 3080 Ti Founders Edition that's getting 55 hash on Ravencoin, which is almost 25% more than what is showing up on Nice Hash's calculations for what this card should be getting on Ravencoin. So it looks like this was done on a Linux distro, specifically Hive OS right here. So let's try to go ahead and mimic these overclocks, but on Windows. So I'm gonna pull up MSI Afterburner right here. Now we can't set a power limit here, but it looks like it has a core of 1500. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the core at stock. Memory is at 1800, which on Linux distros is always doubled. So that's way too much on Windows. So for that, we're just gonna do 900. Now to reach 350 watts, it's gonna to have to have a higher power limit than 70%. So I don't really wanna go far above 80, but I'm going to do 82 just to be safe. Let's go ahead and click apply and let's go ahead and run a batch file for Raven. So here we're gonna go. So we're gonna close this, open up T-Rex Miner and let's run Raven Miner. We'll go ahead and open up MSI next to this. And let's go ahead and give this a couple minutes. Now we let this go for a little bit and it looks like we're sitting right at 56 mega hash on Kapow. But it also looks like we're pulling about 350 watts at the wall with this card. However, when Kapow first came out as a mining algorithm for Ravencoin, there were tons of people that had issues. And I say issues because a lot of people calculated the power supplies that were required on a wattage pull coming from the Ethereum algorithm, where all of a the sudden they switched algorithms and their cards were pulling about 20% more. And a lot of people didn't take that into account. So it's not odd that this card is pulling a lot more wattage for this algorithm. So let's go ahead and put that number into our little list right here. But Ravencoin, 56 mega hash, pulling about 350 watts. So now I think the best thing to do is go ahead and go to what to mine and plug in these numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and close Ravencoin. We will open up what to mine. Now here, as you can see, there is no 3080 Ti option. So I'm just gonna choose a 3080 and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because we're changing all of the numbers on this. So for Ethereum, we're gonna be doing 63 mega hash at 250 watts. For Auto Lycos, which is Ergo, 240 mega hash at 300 watts. And for Ravencoin, we're gonna be doing 56 mega hash right here at 350 watts. So if we run calculate now uh, with 10 cents a kilowatt, we'll hit that, we'll scroll down. And with the true numbers on this card, it looks like Ravencoin comes out in front. Now I, I like what to mine, even though it's an older website and it's not as accurate. And when I say accurate, I don't mean, it, this is extremely accurate because we're using solid numbers that we tested. It just doesn't have the most up-to-date cards on it. So you always have to like kind of take more steps to figure out what your card is pulling. So it always kind of requires you to take more steps like what we just did. Ravencoin making $6.87 a day before electricity after uh, $6.03. And it's important to look at electricity costs on this because each algorithm uses a different amount of electricity. So when it comes to Ergo, it makes $5.11 after electricity and Ravencoin makes about $6.03. So according to this, using hard numbers that we calculated, we're gonna be mining Ravencoin for our one week test on this card because it is what's most profitable right now. However, 
We are going to also be mining it through nice hashes stratums, meaning that they are going to be taking fees out. So I know I kind of get into it a lot in these videos, um, and I, I try not to explain it every single time, but if it's your first time viewing these videos, just real quick, the uh, amount of time it would take to move Ravencoin to an exchange and then convert it to a crypto that you want, the fees that are associated with that probably are going to be more than the fees that NiceHash takes out from just mining directly to their stratums. For the sake of these videos, I do mine to NiceHash's stratums. So in my personal mining farm, I don't use NiceHash. I mine direct on the algorithm. But again, for these videos, I will be using NiceHash. Now, just for the sake of the electricity argument, let's figure out how much electricity a day Kapow takes. So $6.87 minus six dollars three that's 84 cents so let's put that on here so we'll go ahead and put 84 cents per day and then for ergo let's calculate that out real quick that will be five dollars and 83 cents minus five dollars and 11 cents that brings it to 72 cents a day 72 cents per day which is a total difference electricity wise of 12 cents. So real quick looking at these numbers, I'm gonna use the nice hash stratum calculation here because I am not mining direct on the Raven network. But here we have a difference of exactly 55 cents. Even if you could tweak these a little bit better and get better numbers, if I could lower the power limit another 8% on Ergo, I, it's not going to outweigh this. And by outweigh, I'm talking about the electricity costs. Even if I could save another 100 watts on Ergo, it, it's, it will not outweigh the profitability mining on Nice Hash's stratum for Kapow. So we are going to keep this card on Kapow. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to keep these settings right here. And so for Raven right here, you can right click, edit, I have nice hashes stratum right here. If you do need to find the stratums, again, you, you can always just go to Google real quick. And I always type in nice hash stratum because I always forget to keep this thing bookmarked. The first link is gonna be right here. In here, you can choose your algorithm and where the closest server is to you. So here for Kapow, we're gonna scroll to find that, which is the third from the bottom. I am located in the Eastern USA. Click generate address and you have it right here, which I already have copied over here as my stratum, and you have your wallet right here and the name of your worker if you so wish. So that's all saved. I am going to right click this, and I think in my first video, I created a shortcut and then moved the shortcut to the desktop, but someone pointed out in the comments that you could just send it to the desktop, which creates a shortcut, which is more of a shortcut than what I did in that video. So I am all about the shortcuts. So we have that here. We have our overclocks done. We are gonna go ahead and run this for exactly one week. And according to what to mine using actual numbers, this card should pull in at the end of the week, $6.50 on average per day. And then we can go ahead and take out electricity costs and go over the whole analysis of this card in the next video. But until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys next time.